The Quick Peaks gadget is a tool for rapid examination of peak and baseline data. I will demonstrate the use of this gadget by analyzing the following data set. To open the gadget, make your desired graph active and select Gadgets, Quick Peaks from the Origin menu. A dialog opens with several tabs on which you can select your preferences for the tool. I will accept the defaults by clicking OK to quickly place the gadget on the graph. Notice that peaks are found automatically and labeled within the region of interest, which is defined by the yellow boxed region. You can move this region of interest by clicking and dragging with the mouse, and you can also resize the region of interest by clicking on the object handles. The gadget's functionality is accessed with a flyout menu in the upper right hand corner of the region of interest. The first thing I'd like to do is to tag this rightmost peak for reference. To do so I select Tag Peaks. This creates a label that will stay on the peak even after I move the region of interest. Note that a tagged peak will not be included in any output that I do. The next action I'd like to take is to select the three leftmost peaks and choose to output data for these peaks. Data is output by default to a worksheet called Quick Peak and you can see that peak parameters are put in the worksheet. One row for every peak in the graph that I have selected. They include parameters such as the center, x and y, the row index of the center of the peak, the peak area, and the full width at half maximum. Also the baseline that was used can be found by double clicking and bringing up an information window contains the baseline coordinates. I would now like to change some of my preferences. To do so, I select Preferences from the flyout. Again, the dialog opens. I would like to change the baseline from a second derivative method to one that's found with a simple constant, and I'd like to use the median. To see the change, I click Apply. I would also like to change so that the area is not shaded gray like it is currently. So I uncheck the Show Integrated Area box and again click Apply and the shading goes away. I can click OK to save these changes and go back to the graph. I like these current settings so I can save them to a theme for use with future similar data. Notice that it is now also possible to fit your selected peaks using the Quick Peaks gadget. In this case I will select two of my three output peaks and from the flyout, select Fit Peaks, and I will fit these with a Lorenz function. Fitting takes place automatically, and a small report table is output to the graph. You can choose to keep that report table or delete it. Notice that the fit line, the best fit line, is put on the graph by default. This concludes this tutorial.